Hello and welcome in this episode of Before It Is All Gone, which is reporting from the high altitude Paramo from the Andes in Ecuador. In this episode, we are going to look for spectacled bears. That's going to be our main aim. And if you're lucky, also for condors. If you think this is an exciting topic, if you like wildlife and you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share, and click on the bell icon to be notified of the new videos. We spent altogether three days in the Paramo, driving and walking around in this incredibly beautiful environment. We spent most of our time in between 3,000 and 4,300 meters and encountered all kind of weather. We had sunshine, we had wind, we had rain. We were looking for spectacled bears or signs of spectacled bears which are these plants which you can see here so we will we were looking for freshly disturbed vegetation so no bears yet but we see signs of bears all these plants are dug out by the spectacled bears and they're looking for the roots the the bottom part which is like soft and like coconut that's one of their main food here other than obviously they're omnivores, so they also attack all kinds of animals. So we are walking around looking for the fresh signs of bears, which so far we didn't find. Let's see when we get lucky with them. We spent all day yesterday in the national park looking for bears. Uh, drove all day checking out all the best spots without any luck. Today morning, due to the very good weather, we decided to leave the national park and basically we are on the highway in between Quito and Papayacta and within 20-30 minutes of looking we found the bear right now you can see the big camera on tripod it's uh, focusing on the bear and recording as we speak I just wanted to share this moment sometimes you're not in the most isolated place looking for light life sometimes you are in unexpected busy uh, definitely not national parks. Really, really cool. Spectacled bears are the only native bear species to South America and they can grow up to a good 200 kilos or 400 pounds. Adult males like this one can grow up to that size and this guy was definitely a big one. They have an omnivorous diet but 95% of their diet is actually plant-based and here in the Paramo, as you can see, uh, their main food source is the plant which I showed you, the one which is uh, this bear is munching on at this very moment. The problem uh, with these species, and actually one of the reasons why they are a vulnerable species, is the other 5% of their diet. They can, and usually they do feed on cattle, and right here where we were observing the animal as well, on this hillside, a few hundred meters away, uh, there were cows grazing. So it's easy to see how sadly uh, the cow owners, the ranchers, are still poaching, killing these animals to protect their cattle. The other problem is obviously habitat loss. 67% of their habitat right now in Ecuador is not a protected area, so obviously the habitat loss is another uh, very big problem for these highly endangered species. The encounter lasted around half an hour. Uh, it was incredible. We seen the bear moving around, feeding, resting, digging in the ground. It was a very good encounter. But what you might not realize from the footage, it was very, very far. We observed this uh, bear from one hillside to the other, so there were hundreds and hundreds of meters. I'm very glad that I was prepared and I could get this quality footage to share with you. We are here uh, at Antisana, where we are trying to find some condors. In the morning we were already lucky and found a few of them already on the nest and some of them flying as well. Andean condors are the national bird of various South American countries, including Ecuador, and they play a very important role in their culture. These birds, these scavengers, can reach up to 3.3 meters of wingspan, which is around 10 feet, and they can weight up to 15 kilos or 30 pounds. 
this makes them the biggest and largest bird of prey anywhere in the world and one of the biggest and heaviest flying birds. Condors are similar to spectacled bears, uh, vulnerable, but in Ecuador this status is actually critically endangered. Their population right now within Ecuador is so low that the survival of the species within the country is not guaranteed anymore. Compared to this low number of uh, individuals, we had an incredibly lucky day where we observed at least 15 different condors while they were flying, soaring up high. We got to see some very close passes. Uh, we've seen a nesting couple too. Uh, so I hope you can enjoy these videos which I took uh, within the few hours we spent there. The Paramo also held a lot of other interesting species for us and very nice, sometimes surprise encounters. We've seen multiple deers, big groups of them as well, hawks and eagles, the famous or infamous caracaras, and even some hummingbirds and other colorful bird species. This is our third day in the high altitude habitat, the Paramo. Uh, we are close to Papayakta, and in these three days we visited the National Park Antisana and right now we are on the other side of the volcano but on the same type of habitat. And these three days were very very good to us. It wasn't easy, uh, for example yesterday we didn't really see anything. But all in all within the three days we not only managed to see spectacled bear but also got some good view of condors and some other birds, deer, uh, even a lizard. I even got a lizard. So just look at that ridiculous, ridiculous view. That's what we had for the last few days. And obviously it's still not even noon. So today we'll push it until last light. Hope to see something else or something more. But this is the Andes, the Paramo. A high altitude habitat with amazing, amazing wildlife and incredible, beautiful views like nowhere else in the world. So I hope you like this episode. Let's see what else we can find. But until, please don't forget, if you like this, what you see, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share. And well, see you soon at the next episode. Bye.